my god. What is this nonsense? Hey everyone. Um, so it's time for me to check out the Teen Beach movie. So this movie came out in 2013. I think I was starting to phase out of my Disney Channel days. Like all the shows that I watched were ending and but I did see the commercials. But a part of me was very, very against watching it. Because at the time, it felt like Disney was trying very hard to find their next high school musical. Like they were pushing it, pushing it. Anything, they made their other movies musicals when originally they weren't. They were just trying hard. So it had nothing to do with the actors or anything. Because I love Maya Mitchell from The Fosters. I just didn't, it just didn't feel right to watch it. Really, that's pretty much it, because I felt like Disney was really trying to find their next high school musical. And you can't force that on people. You just have to let it, let it ride and see what happens, which is what happened with High School Musical. It was a success overnight. Like, it never was seen before in the Disney Channel um, way, days and like that. But here I am, 10 years later, I'm going to check it out. I do think I know some of the songs because of commercials and everything, similar to Descendants. If you want to check out the full uncut version, make sure you check out my Patreon. This will probably be two hours on there, and I have a lot more stuff on there, so make sure you check that out. I also get my videos like one to two weeks ahead of time on there, so let's check it out. Teen Beach Movie. I don't really know much about it except that it uh, deals with West Side Story, which I never saw, so let's do it. I mean, I do like the colors, like the green, the blues, and the, and I do love watching surfing movies. They also put a lot of pressure on like the actors and the, making it successful. Cause I remember them saying Gary Clayton was gonna be the next Zac Efron. Like you can't do like it's just you gotta let it happen. You can't force it. And I know Ross Lynch was very big on Disney back then with Ali and AJ. No, not Allie and AJ. Whoa, wrong. I meant Austin and Allie. Wait, are they dating in this? I thought they were just friends. Oh, see, I know nothing about this. Oh, she had the secret. But it's so weird seeing Maya Mitchell like this because uh, she's like the tough girl in the Fosters. West Side Story. I mean, I know it's not the real West Side Story because they have the Disney character actors in it. But like, is it actually a West Side Story? Yeah, Rival and Gaines, I know that, but wasn't it a lot more serious? She has something to tell you. <laughs> She's speaking on every musical stereotype. Let me know in the comments below more information about West Side Story. I know it's East versus West, but I don't really know more than that. Was it more tougher than Disney making it out to be? Oh, she's leaving? So that's her grandfather. I'm so confused. I don't know these characters' names. I'm not paying. He's Brady. Max? She didn't tell him, obviously. Uh, she's one of those parents. Don't listen to their kids on what they want. Coach Bolton. So, Brady's probably just the local kid that hangs out at the at the surf shop, right? Wait, is that her aunt or her mom? Why do they always have to kill the moms? This is such a typical, like, decom scenario. Making the kid not really do what they want. Them end up unhappy. Another summer romance coming to an end. So, I know they go into the West Side Story world. Oh, the legend of the board. So they don't actually like have a musical in their lives. They just go into a musical. I mean, that is a different concept. Like it's not an actual like musical where they just break out into songs. They just go into the musical and then break out into the songs. Don't go, it didn't work for NeNe in season two of High School Musical the Musical the series. Did they get that from this? The board moved. Because I know High School Musical and Musical the series like gives like a tribute to like all the DCOMs. Especially the musical DCOMs. So I'm like wondering 
Nene going away to drama school and not end up being happy about it. So is that like a tribute to Teen Beach movie? Maybe. I love surfing movies. You will never see me surfing, but I love watching surfing movies. Grandpa. Such a stunt double. It's so interesting as you get older, you like notice the stunt doubles a lot easier. She's not gonna listen. This reminds me of Chasing Mavericks. No, it's not. So they're gonna go into the musical now? Is he also a lifeguard? Is that how they met? Cause no one can just take the lifeguards, the jet ski out there like that, right? Oh, Grandpa. Uh-oh. They are now in the movie. Good vibration. Beach. beach Boy song. I can see why they said it, because he has like similar looks to Zac Efron. This is not good vibrations. Oh, Jordan Fisher, that's right. This was his movie. Maybe season two was like an O2 Teen Beach movie, because Jordan Fisher was also in like the finale of High School Musical the Musical series season two. My movie website story. So he really watched the movie. I mean, if I were to enter the high school musical world, I would know every word, every song. But like, is this gonna be sort of like if you go back in time, you like ruin the history? Are they gonna change the movie? I mean, the movie's already out, so they can't really change it. These aren't the same songs from West Side Story, are they? Probably couldn't because of copyright and everything. Awkward. Yeah. How are they gonna explain themselves? How cool is that? So we landed in the middle of a surf and turf floor? Yeah, guess so. This is a cruising for a bruising? I think so. I know this one. Yeah. This one's not bad. But well, maybe because I've heard it before. So are they supposed to be like the pink ladies from Greece? So he just like went right into the musical? But who originally had that part? He's already making changes to the movie. Wait, is he gonna join the one side and she's gonna join the other side? She couldn't help herself, could you? Always wanted to be in that number. I'm sure. But like, who are you? In two hours! Well, two hours and fifty years! Fine. That's true. So, so technically they did go back in time. Cause the movie came out in 1968. The Legendary of the Board. That's almost like um, Rip Girls. Her mom's board. It wasn't magical, but she wrote it. This gives me so much like Grease vibes. I should probably have watched What's That Story first. I mean, I don't know, cause this came out in 2013 for like the younger generation. So they probably wouldn't have seen West Side Story. They're, were you all like just confused as I am right now? And curious what the story of the movie was? Or did you just go with it? Let me know in the comments. I feel like I've seen some of these people before. So they share the place. They just don't like each other. Come on, just go with it, Mac. So it's Garrett Clayton gonna like, he's like the cool surfer dude, right? Does he like get in the middle of Mac and Brady? Whoa. Oh. So that's how, that means that's how all like those stories happen. Someone from one side and someone from another side, they like fall in love. It's always like that and like, like East versus West. Sorry, I didn't see you. Yes, you did. You changed the movie. Oh boy. I don't know how I feel about this movie yet. I mean, I get it wasn't made for like my generation, but I love the Descendant movies, which were made for the next generation. So I'm like, I don't know, really. The key under the mat, that's just typical. Really? He's in like everything. 
Wait, are they like the evil? Are they gonna be evil? No, there's always gonna be evil people. Mad scientists. There you go. He was the guy in Wizards of Waverly Place movie, right? The guy they ran into in Puerto Rico. And then he was in other things that I've watched. <laughs> well, the real version did, right? Or at least was nominated. And that's because you're watching the Disney vibe version, Max. You're not watching the the real life version of West Side Story. Do you guys recommend I watch West Side Story? If I do, should I watch the original or the 2021 version? Let me know in the comments below. You can also join my Patreon. I'm gonna have um where you uh, make requests of what I watch. Yes, yeah, she would mind. Yeah, they are. Isn't she on the biker side of it? Then you throw some eggs. Okay. That was a joke. He just caught you. It wasn't like you were gonna. Uh oh. I mean, I mean, I guess she could have gotten like a concussion, got into a coma, or whatever. So she could have died. But like, it's not really like that life saving, is it? I don't know. Oh, and he has his own solo in this. Chick. Oh boy. Oh, it's not. It's a duet. Did Garrett Clayton sing his song? I mean, that voice does sound like it would come out of him. Oh, she's singing too. So it's a, it's a group song. So she's getting into the musical aspect of it? Plan B? That was kind of a clever lyric play. Is she gonna have fun now? Uh oh. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out, because it's not going to work, is it? How are they going to get themselves invited? This is just so weird. I don't know. They're disappearing. Are they going to disappear? This is so giving me Grease vibes. You know, like the pajama party. Or anything you do. You're from 2013, man. We're talking 1968. It was different back then. Oh, brother. Wait a minute, angry. What? Angry Birds. Is this what West Side Story was like? So like, was West Side Story and Grease basically similar in the way they filmed it? Cause I'm getting way many Grease vibes here. But those movies came out around the same time, right? Or did Grease come out in the 70s? I don't know. I might have to check out West Side Story. The guys are like wearing almost like my shirt. That gives me High School Musical 3 vibes. You know, the prom scene? Night to remember when they changed their outfits, the prom dresses. I have to say they all do sound good together, like their voices. And the choreography is not bad. Oh my god, it is Grease. Like at the end, when Sandy went biker and Danny went prep. But what about what you want? What did your mom want you to be happy? Another decom classic, rushing to grow up. So a double date. Oh, that's so fake! Oh my god, the green screen. That's so fake! Oh my god, that's so bad. That was so bad. Wow. He's so into himself. He is. Which I kind of, I can see. Oh, she's making friends. Ooh, what's the secret? I mean, I want to surf. Surf? Right on. Crazy. Surf's up! I think. I don't know. Surf. Definitely you know should what? surf. Yes! And then Tanner will see her surfing, and they will meet. They will fall in love, right? Is that it? I don't know. Oh boy. 
He's so He's not very smart. That part of me feels like they completely changed, like, the West Side Story story to make it, like, Disney-fied. Am I right? Am I wrong? Again, let me know in the comments. Were there mad scientists in West Side Story? They probably so Disney-fied it. Oh no. You're singing. This is no, it's not good. She's uh turning into a part of the movie. Do you ever wonder if this is what like some of the actors think when they're in musicals? Like they don't want to be in a musical? Like one of the background actors that are just there. Do they get annoyed with all the songs? Then again, it's different because they're acting. They're not literally in the movie. Like living the movie. I don't know what my point was. Ignore me. I don't know what the point was, what I was going with. But they don't sing 100% of the movies or dance. They do talk in movies and musicals. Brady's having fun with this. She just needs to loosen up. She does. She needs to loosen up and have fun. Like, really. You for Brady? Yeah. yeah, they are. We're talking in plot points. They're talking in plot points? Friday. Like that's gonna help? We're gonna surf. What? You like to surf? I know. It's like riding a cloud, except the cloud is water. No way! I said the same thing! <laughs> I've always wanted to ride a motorcycle. Are you serious? No, I'm Tanner. I grew up riding. They're is so weird. Oh boy. They're so awkwardly cute, but no. What the? Wait, wait, what? There we go. Let me guess, they don't kiss till the second movie? Probably. I gave this to Mac. She was wearing it. Then why did she take it off? Something's not right. Oh my god, what is this nonsense? Oh my god, what is this nonsense? Musicals are like this? Not even the cheesy ones. They like really made this so cheesy. Yes, just ask Dr. Tracking from Kim Possible. The weird evil laugh. Free our friends and destroy that weather machine before it destroys our world. I'm sorry. This is just. Oh my god. Didn't they just like get together five minutes ago? I mean, I get it. It's a movie. It's a decom. It's Disney. What the? What's the, what? What is happening? I have a feeling if this movie was done like this year, those two would be together. You know? Because Gary Clayton. Right, Gary Clayton came out, right? So I feel like if this was done at a later time where it was starting to become more acceptable, because Disney did do their, finally, LGBTQ characters. So I feel like if this was redone, they would have Tanner and the lead guy of the biker gang be the ones that fall in love. So you're glad we came. Yeah, she is. Oh, what a shock. That's sweet. Do you really want to do this? No. In a movie, we got yep. Something. You are just a villain in a movie. Like, are they doing terrible acting on purpose? That was smart. Never have him be lost, because he would have just ran away. This was definitely not in West Side Story. No way. What is going on? I mean, the music is good, I guess. They didn't die? Intriguing. Oh my god. I don't know why I 
that made me laugh so much. Oh my god. But they don't want to know. Oh. So how do they get back there for the second movie? So they all know that they're not supposed to be there. They're all crying. My like, good. This is sad. They made friends. How far out do they have to go to get back? Get not that far. These are real waves, not whatever was in that scene with uh, Mac and Tanner. But how do they know this will work? I know it's a movie. It's a movie in a movie, so it's gonna work. The magical surfboard. Hey, if I needed to save me. Oh, how cute. I mean, yes, they're not gonna kiss either until the second movie. Oh, she got to keep the necklace. I wasn't sure if the necklace would, like, make it in back into the two-dimensional world. I love the, the big wave at the end of every surfing movie. Her hair is different in both scenes, I think. That's like a perfect ponytail for the stunt double, when hers is not a perfect ponytail up close. And now she doesn't seem that wet, that close up. Like she was like, like a minute ago. Talk about movies and people coming out of the water, like dry. I'm trying to read what you want. She wants to stay. I want to stay here for high school. I want to be... Yes. She's staying. Sir. Sing. Sing. Now they're breaking into song in their own world. So now they made their world a musical. Is that girl from in the yellow the same girl that was in, um, what's that story? I'm sure a lot of these are repeat, um, uh, background dancers. But you would think they would change the color of her shirt if they don't want people to notice that. End credits. I like watching end credits and bloopers. Oh, it's not over yet. Ha <laughs> scared of Bieber. So that's what leads into the second Teen Beach movie. Uh, that kind of reminds me of Snow Globe. The ABC Family uh, Christmas movie, Snow Globe. Um, she would go into the Snow Globe and then with like 15, 20 minutes left, they would come out of the Snow Globe and she would have to figure out how to get them back. So I guess that's what the second movie is about. They are now in the real world and they're gonna have to help them get back into the movie. Okay, I'll be watching that too, even though I kind of don't want to. I'm sorry. I can, oh no, I think I, uh, um, yeah. I don't really have much to say about this. I can see why it was a hit, not like a high school musical style hit. It was more like, not even Camp Rock hit. It, I mean, it was more like Camp Rock 2 hit. You know, it was good, but it wasn't as good as the first movie, which I didn't understand because I kind of liked the sec. I mean, I didn't like that they made it into a musical. The first one was not a musical. It was a movie about music. It wasn't a musical, but whatever. Because I know this had its own, like, it wasn't a high school musical ginormous success, but it did have its own success in its right mind. And it led to a second movie, but I feel like the ending of, it, it already had the green light of a second movie. But that doesn't always happen, Julie and the Phantoms. Um, still mad at Netflix for canceling Julie and the Phantoms on a cliffhanger, as a lot of shows do. Um, very cheesy, very, very, very cheesy. Um, especially like Tanner and um, I already forgot her. Layla, 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 Layla. Especially that whole part, them together on the beach. Um, and then figuring out that Mac and Brady are in trouble. It was just like a weird, weird take. So I definitely think they definitely Disney-fied West Side Story. I don't, it probably wasn't, it's probably a typical um, musical, but it's not like cheesy, cheesy, cheesy musical. I got a lot more Grease vibes to this 
But then again, they were around the same time, like probably 10 years apart. I think Grease came out in the 70s and, and West Side Story came out in the 60s. So, um, I can see why they're similar. But, um, yeah. I kind of glad I didn't watch it 10 years ago. But, um, so I think my favorite song, I mean, ugh, oh man, the songs weren't were like amazingly, fantastically great, but um, I would have to say the song before them sang, um, like the boys like girl like me and the girl like the boy like me, something like that. The first part of it definitely gave me Grease vibes because in Grease, Sandy was at a slumber party with the pink ladies and then Danny was with his boys at the mechanics, yeah. You know what I'm talking about if you've seen Grease. So yeah, I mean, I don't see myself watching it again. I, I am happy that I gave it a shot because there were questions over the last 10 years of do I watch this or not just to see what it's all about. And I will be watching the second movie. We'll see how that is, if it's any better. Um, it might be better. and not really much to go on to be better. I'm sorry if I disappoint you that I'm not that thrilled with this movie. It's just not my cup of tea. It was overly cheesy. I know High School Musical has the cheese factor, but and Camp Rock and, and some of the other ones, but it, this one was over the top. Some parts weren't. Some parts were fine, but some parts were just like... Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think about my opinion about this. I'm sorry if I disappoint you that I'm not that thrilled with this movie. I gave it a shot. That's all I wanted to do. I wanted to give it a shot. Again, I'll be checking out the second movie. Um, if you want to see the long, non-edited version, check out my Patreon. It's about two hours long. You'll see everything. You'll see all my facial expressions. Way more than you see on YouTube. And there's a lot that I have on Patreon. The link is below in the description. I have a lot of writing, a lot of videos, and more to come. So make sure you check that out. And check out all of my other YouTube videos that I have. Um... And yeah, I'll see you all in the next Teen Beach movie or anything else you check out. Bye, everyone.